Hey everyone, it's uh, Jukes here, the creator of the custom UI plugin for Backcase Mode. In this video, I will show you how to easily use this plugin uh, inside Rocket League. Be sure to have Backcase Mode installed, you can find it on their website. And inside their website, you need to download a custom UI plugin. Start Backcase Mode and Rocket League. And inside Rocket League, you can open the Backcase Mode setting by pressing F2. Then go to Plugin, Custom UI, and here we can buy the key uh, to open the Custom UI window. By default, it's usually set to F3, but feel free to change it to whatever key you prefer. At this point, you might be thinking, oh, nothing is showing up. Don't worry, that's totally normal. Uh, the UI only appears when it's uh, needed, like uh, the Boost UI in free play or the full interface during the match. So to set it up, the easiest way is to start a private match where the UI will show up. Once you are in game, you will see the UI appear. If it's not position or size how you want, don't panic. That depends on your screen resolution and Rocket League interface scale. You can find pre-made preset uh, inside the Discord, so you have the starting preset and all the presets that are created by a, by a creator, by artist. So you can press F3 to open the custom UI setting. You can choose a preset, which group of them you want to change the size and the position. You can even add multi-group by clicking the plus button on the right. Then adjust the position and size of each element to fit uh, to your setup. And please don't forget to hit save or your change won't work. Uh, you can also import uh, some created Preset by graphic designer, some friend, or anyone who shared the setup. Uh, you go to the Discord server where presets are shared. Copy and paste the downloaded folder into the correct location. So you need to open the backcase mode folder. Uh, go to data, custom UI, presets, and you can paste the folder here. You can have any preset that you want. If the preset is set up correctly, all you need to do is just to refresh the preset inside the window and you are good to go. Follow the same step as before to tweak the position and size. That's it. You are ready to enjoy the new interface. Don't forget to join the Discord for access to presets, update, and community support. If you would like to support the project, it will mean a lot. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.